What is going on everyone and welcome to the Stock Trends channel. So in today's video, we're going to be diving into MVIS, a little update again for us here on this Monday morning, May 10th. So diving into MVIS, as of right now, we're looking at Finviz, some of the numbers, market cap, just over 2.2 billion shares float. How many shares are available for us to trade? 145 million percentage of the float that is short 21.66%. So significant amount of shorts in this stock. I want to dive into really quick what is going on. We haven't had any more news since the earnings report. So if you actually scroll down here on Finviz, they'll tell you the recent news on MVIS. Not much, just some articles posted here, Monty Fool, The Street, Reuters, things like that. So there's not really too much going on. But we have the earnings. The earnings, we saw the stock pull back after it made a pretty big push in anticipation of the earnings up towards 28, actually hitting over $30 in the aftermarket hours. Going over to our Weeble chart here. So here's our little chart we got for the daily. Take a look at the four hour chart. We want to dive into this because we hit 31.14 in the aftermarket hours here on the 27th of April. So that's awesome. We had a pullback. Where are we sitting as of right now? We are in limbo. I want to make sure everyone is understanding that. We are kind of in a limbo. So unless you are holding this stock as a longer term hold, or unless you're holding for a specific catalyst, this is not a stock that it looks like you want to be initiating a trade right here. Because if you're looking at it right now, we have support down towards 10. We have resistance as a prior level back up here, up in that 19 to 1950 area. So you're in between. Now, if you are going to be buying this stock, I want to make sure we're selling this stock, going short this stock. Make sure you understand that if you were going to have a section to add to your position, these bands are probably good areas to add to your position. And obviously, you're looking to play it for a breakout of one direction or the other. If you're going short, you're looking for it to fall below 10 and fall below. And that's a breakout to the downside or a crack of the support. Or if you're going long, you're looking for this thing to break back up over 19, 1950 and get up over 20 for a push back to the upside. Now, in terms of more recent support, we have come down to this 1350 area trying to hold up over 13.50. So as of right now, we're at 14.24 here in the pre-market hours, 14 bucks. So 13.50 has held up roughly the past couple of days. We have some of these dips down sub 13 briefly by some of these wicks and then kind of recovering quickly right back to the upside. So I'd be watching that area to the downside here on MVIS. But outside of that, you also want to pay attention to how the overall market is, sentiment, things like that. So let's look at a couple different things. Let's look at SPY. This is going to model the S&P 500. So the overall markets are at our trend line right here. Yes, that's good and bad. I mean, the market's been pretty bullish as of late. The reason why we say that that's potentially bad is because we are overextended. I mean, looking at this, you know, we have gotten rejected over the past couple of months, you know, at this area that we're kind of sitting at here. So the extension to the upside on the S&P has been pretty substantial. Now, does that mean it's going to go down? No, but just understand that we are pretty overextended here on the S&P. Could we go higher? Sure. Ideally, you'd want to see healthy pullbacks as we push on up. And that's kind of what we've been seeing the past couple of months. Also want to point your attention to IWM. This is the Russell 2000 ETF. Now, the reason why we mentioned this is because this is going to model the small cap index right here. And what we've been seeing for small caps in general is we do have some resistance as we get up over to this 230 area. That's going to be resistance to the upside on some small caps. So that is one thing to watch, but we have been putting an uptrending support. So if we dive into this, I do want to kind of roughly draw this trend for you here. We have kind of an uptrending support right now. So the question is going to be up at that 230. Do we break out and push new highs in IWM or do we come back to the downside? Reason why we mentioned this, reason why we mentioned SPY is to give you a good sense of how the overall market is doing here on this Monday morning. It's very important to get a good understanding for how things are holding up, how things are handling, so that you have a good sense of the overall markets before you ever look to place your own trades, to go into any stocks and things like that. So might not directly affect MVIS if MVIS has their own news and things like that, but these are good to pay attention to. So MVIS, I think it's going to be really cool to be watching this one as time goes on. On. Obviously, you have a pretty decent following on social media, Reddit online in general. So this is a definitely a video that is non-biased. We have currently a price target out here on MVIS as we speak. Actually, no specific number, just a hold rating from H.C. Wainwright. So 
As of right now, we're in limbo. Hopefully you guys understand that. If you're looking to be more of an active trader, understand that you wanna be looking to buy towards support or sell towards resistance in between. You're increasing your downside potential here. And unless you have a solid plan of adding on dips here or selling into pops, then I would make sure that you'd reassess your aspect or reassess that situation, reassess your plan going in before you start diving in or just buying any stock in general. So hopefully this video was helpful, non-biased approach going over MVIS here this morning, Microvision, a pretty substantially shorted stock uh, as of late. Let's see if they can live up to it in the future. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Some links down below to get access to Webull, which is the platform we are using right here right now. Also get two free stocks there up to $1,850 when you sign up and deposit 100 bucks on the platform. Outside of that, other links down below to tip ranks, FinViz, research platforms, things like that. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Hit that thumbs up button if you got some value here and subscribe for more videos just like this. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.